Hi everybody, welcome back to Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. My favorite game! So I think we're going to Circus Park now. I think we were on Blizzard Castle and I threw myself off a bridge because of it. Um, we haven't really done any of this bonus stuff. We did this one. But don't worry about that. We're going to Circus Park! Save Chicken Elder Alani! Okay. I hope a big disembodied voice talks to me from the sky. That would be nice. That would be neat. What a lovely way to start the show that would be. But that probably would happen. It's just a fever dream of mine. Just a crazy dreamer. Coming up with scenarios. Oh, what? Oh, look what it is. Ooh, listen to me, young Billy. The elder chicken of Circus Park, Alani. Has been turned into a golden egg. You must find Alani's egg as quick as possible. Break the seal and uncover yet another secret of the giant egg. All right, we're gonna do that right here on this show. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Oh, the camera angle. I remember now. Oops. I was gonna stop and read whatever it was that said, but I don't have to. Oh, I can go over here. I pick this egg up. And roll it along! This is what I do every Easter. When I get an Easter egg, I don't pick it up and put it in my basket politely. I roll it along the floor. Take it out of the little packet. Because you know, uh, Easter eggs come in like boxes and stuff. Take it out of the box. And I just roll it along the floor of Tesco. <laughs> I gotta get the chickens! And nobody in Tesco really understands what that means. That's their problem. Not my problem. Give me the fruit. Oh, yeah, I go to the fruit and vegetable aisle and just like roll my big Easter egg over, you know, cucumbers. Alright, I've got this. Oh, I can double jump. That's helpful. Or is it? That remains to be seen. But I suspect I know the answer. No. The smashing of all sorts of stuff. I do like how they introduced the idea of new hoods or new things and then like didn't at all explain it. Like we saw one of these in a bonus episode. But they didn't we had to get to the bonus episode to you know the main series bits. Nothing. Not you don't get an explanation as to why there are suddenly new hoods. What? Don't I need like a... Oh, maybe it's up here. It is up here. A water one. You know, you would think... Because they haven't really explained it so far. They're just like, oh, you got wings now. They don't tell me what this one does. You know what you I mean? It's, uh, it's an interesting way to do a game. You know, a lot of people don't like it when a game's too handholdy, But you would feel like for a game like this, it's kind of clearly centered towards kids that is also aggravating an adult to no degree. It's ridiculous how angry I get at this game. But for a game that's clearly like kind of marketed at children, wouldn't they do a little bit more of the explaining stuff to let the kids know what's going on? Because having a non hand holy game oops, works for adults, but it doesn't really work for kids who like you kind of have to explain stuff to Well, you don't have to that's that's misleading. I, I kind of misspoke there but Because you know kids can figure this stuff out. We all figured out how to play Mario um, Mario world, you know like you figure it out But it was also a lot more intuitive than this game. Let's put it that way It felt more coherent and the stuff that they would give you in the game matched up with what you were supposed to do. So you could figure it out, right? For example, in this game, to use an example, can you look? Eh. they give you a, a big, whoops, there's a big fire. So you know that you have to hatch a water creature to put the fire out, right? That's simple, like that's simple game design. There's nothing breaking the bank about that. We can all figure that out. Right? But the game has also explained that inside the eggs are stuff you can hatch. Right? They've explained that 
the things inside the eggs are, are almost always monsters that you can hatch. So then when you start hatching stuff that isn't monsters, that goes against everything the game has told you so far. And it's a little unusual. You're like, well, wait a minute. I thought... I thought there were monsters inside. Normally there are. There are no monsters inside this. Well, there isn't this one, but the other two that I had, no monsters inside. It's just the way it is. You know what I mean? They haven't really done a super clear job of explaining that. In my opinion. That's what I think. And I, like I said, I have... What? Why did that kill me? I just touched the egg. I, I mean, the first time I touched the fire, I get that. But the second time, I just touched the egg. That was very strange. Alright, let's get the hood again. So yeah, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, in a Mario level, they give you the cape. And they give you a big, long stretch of path. And you go, alright, I go up and use the cape here. You know? They use the cape. And you go up. And you fly. And then after that, you know that there are spaces you can fly in. So some of the hidden levels have uh, spots you can like creep up and fly in, that's where you get the secrets. So you're like, oh cool, I discovered that, but also the game was smart enough to clean me in on that, you know what I mean? Like that's one of the things that like, although Mario does that sometimes too, but that's one thing I didn't really like about Donkey Kong Country, is that for a lot of Donkey Kong Country, they make it very clear that the pits are bad. You fall in the pit, you're dead, you know? But some of the pits have, uh, like, secrets in them, but they don't sign, obviously they don't signpost those hidden um, pits that are the, the, the ones with the secrets in them. Because if they signposted them, they'd be too easy to find, right? It would take a lot of the challenge out of it. Did I get? I did. Like, the whole point of them being hidden is that you're supposed to discover it by yourself. I get that. That makes sense, right? But also, if everything you've been told about that game is that falling into pits is bad, then you're not gonna wanna fall into the pits, right? That's that's logic. So then when you say, oh, some of the pits have uh, good stuff inside, you're like, well, right, but most of them don't, so why would I waste my time looking for them whenever you've been conditioned to think that the pits are bad, right? Alright, how do I do this? Right. Okay. Alright. We did it! Oh god, there's so many fucking things. Why did I kill them? I killed all of them. Oh god! Now there's some spinny fucking things. I don't know what's happened. Um, so like Mario would do that too, which I didn't I didn't really like, is that sometimes they'd hide like in the 2D ones, they'd hide stuff in the in in the in the pits and stuff. And that doesn't really like encourage exploring. It just encourages like dying over and over again until you find out which is the right pit and which one's the wrong pit. Like I don't think that that's very good game design. Oh I got another set of wings. So that's why I, but Mario games tend to do it in a lot, um, they, they had their secrets in better places for the, for the most part, which I like, I appreciate that. So this game is kind of all over the place and that it doesn't really, the stuff it tells you isn't really like that helpful into the game. It says, oh, fucking, it says roll the eggs and they'll be fine, but that's not what the game's all about. There's other bits where you're not rolling the eggs. And then it's like, oh, you need, you know, they, they make it seem like you need the eggs for most of it, but you don't really. And then they're like, well, there's creatures inside the eggs. But then sometimes this, and then you're like, well, what do I do with this? Like, what does this do? Remember the one, what does this do? Like, do you remember the one that was, um, oh, you can ride on the eggs? even in the water. But then I tried that and it seems so unintuitive to use. If I, like, I figured it out, but like, it did seem a little bit like, this isn't really what I thought it was going to be. Uh, 
I'm so nervous. I'm like, I can't fuck this up again. Did I win? That's all I have to do is just roll it around. Okay, well. Billy! Well done! The path of our head narrows, so be careful and break the egg seal. Alright. One egg seal abide to be broken. I wanna beat the shit out of that egg seal. Well, I broke the broke the egg. That one's on me, folks. That was all on me. I got really cocky. I didn't know those were flamethrowers. They looked like those panels a moment ago that I just stood on. That weren't flamethrowers. But again, I don't that one's probably on me. I don't think that, that one's necessarily bad game design. But um, but I think you guys kind of get what I mean for a lot of it. You know what I mean? A lot of the Nintendo games, you kind of pick them up. A lot of the Sega games, you don't really pick them up. Why? Why did that happen? I mean, that's what I think about this game, ultimately. I think this is a very typical Sega game. Where if you, if you feel, it's not always because you just weren't good at what you were doing. You know what I mean? Like, that time I fell off the edge there, I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like that was my fault. Right? Like, I put that egg on this coaster where I'm supposed to put it. And then that happens. Alright. This camera, dude. Did I see something? No, it was just a lamp. It makes me really trepidatious about moving along with the eggs because I'm just so nervous with what's happening. For, ex for example, like that's a perfect example. I was about to freak out there, but I've been doing that the whole game. Oh no. That's unfortunate. I mean, now we know what we're doing so we can get back there easier, but I'm like, that's a perfect example. I put the thing... But I rolled the egg right on top of the little coaster where I was supposed to roll it. And I nudged it. Give a little nudge to get it going. Which is what didn't work the last time. And it just fell through the middle of it. That's That wasn't my fault. And yet that's a game over for me because that was my last life. If that's not fair. You know, whereas in a Mario game, they, they some of them can be like hard or punishing or whatever. But it's usually like, they give you the tools. So like, this man, here's everything you need to do to beat the level. If you beat it, congratulations. If you don't, it's probably your fault. Um, whereas when I play a Sega game, I feel like a lot of the time, if I don't complete a level, it's because the camera was wank wonky, wanky. Well, yes, because the camera was wanky. Or just because the controls don't work right. You know, something's gone wrong. That happens to me a lot in Sonic games. Especially the, the 3D Sonic games. You're like... You have fun for a little bit, but then you're like, I'm trying to play the game, and the game isn't isn't working. It makes it very difficult for me to continue. You know? But I feel like I'll show that off at some point, because I like to play Sonic Adventure. That's a... Fuck. It's like a perfect example. You'll play Sonic Adventure... Oh, I need the... No. Oh, I need the double jump. You'll play Sonic... Oh, it's not... That's not the double jump. This is a double jump. Great camera work, guys. Where I couldn't see where the fuck I was going. Oh. Anyway. So like I was saying. The Sega games have a real habit of kind of having a janky control scheme or a janky camera. Um, which I don't like, and it makes it feel unfair to play sometimes. Let's put it that way. So I think Billy Hatcher is just kind of like, unfortunately, it's just really like a. a, a that's like a, a problem for this game that they couldn't really fix. You know, that this game is not the epitome of this problem, but like it's a real clear victim of that problem where like it's a good idea there's good stuff in there so the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 games for the most part like they don't totally suck 
there's a lot of fun stuff in it. There's good ideas. Music's banging, you know. But the problem is... Right, where the fuck? Oh, is he still up there? Oh, man. Wait, where'd he go? Did they hatch him? Where's the... Where's the... Oh, there he is. Where's the penguin? Good lord. Um... But then, like, when you play the game, it, it just gets janky and silly. And you're like, well, this kind of ruins a lot of the fun I was having. You know? I get that with Sonic Adventure a lot. And this game really falls... Really falls victim to that. It's... It's the same idea. Like, they're ambitious. They know what they want to do. But they just... Either they don't have the technology or they don't have the skill to do it. It's very strange. Get rid of this fucking egg. I don't need it. Where's the one I need? Alright. I don't know what this has to do with the circus. I bet they didn't really know what it had to do with the circus either. They thought a circus will be a fun... Be fun level design, but like, what? What do they do? What's what's this got to do with the circus? You know? I don't know. I feel like this was kind of their. I don't want to say a Mario moment, but it was it was their their oh their way of coming up with a new game that wasn't oh that wasn't just Sonic. Which, you gotta appreciate them for that. Like, fair play. They could, but I feel like, also, when you look at the non-Sonic games, you know, Battle of Wonderland, maybe not the best example, but... That game failed because... of the direction. And, you know, it wasn't like... Yuji Naka did a big Twitter thread about why... Battle of Wonderland didn't work the way he wanted it to, and he's like, well, I wanted to add stuff to it to fix it, and it wasn't a lot, and they just kind of, like, cut my hands off and didn't allow me to do a lot of the stuff. You know, a lot of, like, little polished things to figure out how the game works and stuff like that. And I think that this game doesn't really have a lot of that polish. They made it, and they were like, ship it, right? And it wor functionally, it works for the most part. We've seen some glitches that I think are aggravating, and I think that there's a lack of like what I mentioned earlier. I don't think all games should be hand holding. I don't think that's correct. But I also think that you should be able to figure out what you're doing. And if you can't, then the games are a little, in a, you know, the non-intuitive. And I think that that has happened way too many times in this game where I just don't know what I'm doing. It's just not very clear. Or the mechanics of the game aren't super clear or I'm not just I'm just not sure what I'm doing. Not so much. Like I've definitely kind of um, played it up on the show. So it's not so bad that it's affecting how the game works, but like there's been definite moments where I'm like, this um could be laid out better and could be smoother and easier to figure out. And then it would be a much better game experience, I think. It would be if it's if it's easier to play, it'll be I would be more in in intrigued to pick it up and play it. You know what I mean? But if it is constantly a pain in the ass for me to play, why would I want to play it? Like this, I still don't know what this is for. Does it turn the eggs on fire? Wait, hang on. No, it doesn't seem to really do anything. So then you're like, well, why, why would I want, why would I want that? What's, what's the benefit for having that over the double jump, for example? Because the double jump's useful. I know what that does. I get the double jump. But with the, this fire thing, I don't know what that does. And stuff like this where it seems really like imprecise, you're not quite sure where I'm going or what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it does turn the egg on fire, it looks like. So I can grab this. Well done! Okay, so now we're gonna do this shit again. How many lives do I have? Probably not enough. 
I would be here. Okay. I disagree with that. I really do. I was just trying to slow down. Because I've, I've, I've been able to turn before in those little sections. I don't know why that happened. But it's fine. Yeah, like that. Like, why did I... Why did that not work this time? Why does that happen? You know, you, you, you press the turnaround button, but it, it just puts the brakes on sometimes. I don't know, man. Like... Earlier, I was definitely very... Oh, come on. Uh, very down on this game on purpose. You know, like, I definitely was playing it out for it, for the show. But now, like, really, I'm just trying to figure out, is this a good game or not? And it's fun sometimes. You know, it's fun sometimes, and they give you a lot of, like, different game modes and stuff, but... Well, not different game modes, but they give... What? Oh, I was supposed to break that. Oh. Oh, I guess it just stayed. Oh. Okay, so I think I have to bring a different egg three parts. That's what that seems like to me. Oh, it's doing it again. Oh, God. See, this is where it gets annoying. Fiddly controls are one thing, but like whenever you have fiddly controls and very precise platforming to do. And this, funny enough, isn't even that precise. Like, look how wide this platform is. It's not that precise, but it feels nerve wracking because, because stuff like this just keeps happening. The game doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. I see that. Okay, wait there. Okay. Okay, so hang on. Let's knock this over. Take this egg. And put it... Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this shit shouldn't take this long. I should have beaten this level already a ton of times over, but just it just keeps being silly. It just keeps doing stuff to me that I don't think is logical for a good platform game. It's very frustrating. But not in a in a fun way. Do you know what I mean? It's frustrated in a this game is annoying me kind of way, which I don't think is is fair. I think the game, and I think that's what makes it. You know, that's the difference between a, a, like a fun game and a not fun game. Is that it's all right in small doses, but after a while, it, it just grates on me. It it gets frustrating. The this whole game. Just because of the way it is, it gets frustrating. Which is unfair. Alright, fuck that egg, you don't need it. Oh god. What are these? Oh, I can squish them. I was like, are these the spinny guys? Because the spinny guys, I just can never fucking kill. Oh, these guys I can kill. It's strange. And also, what's strange about it is, like, the combat, for example, is just run over stuff with an egg. So it's strange whenever you see something that just totally destroys my egg. Whenever the way to beat them is to see them as the way to beat all these eggs. What? Where do I go? I assume I go this way. Damn. Do I have to knock this down? 
What is this? What? Oh, can I ride on this one? Oh my god. No. But where do I go? What? Okay. I, um, I've been very complimentary about this game so far. In a, in a, well, not complimentary, but I've been trying to be diplomatic about it. I understand that. I don't know what to do there. I'm actually going to call it a day here. I was going to keep playing and just fast forward to the end of the level. But I think I'll just, next time, I'll cut back to this bit. And you'll see it next episode. Oh my god, there's a fucking in intro video. Did we watch this already? Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, it looks alright. Oh god, until he smiled. Oh no. No. What? This intro makes it look way more fun than it actually is. It is not this much fun. Yay! But who cares? Look at those things, they look adorable. Why would you kill them? Billy Hatcher, you evil son of a bitch. Plus that theme music is fucking... I don't even know, man. He seems to really take glee in destroying stuff, doesn't he? Look, you see, he hatched the eggs, but you didn't see any new hats coming out of that. They don't reference any new hats or new or whatever the butterfly thing is. Like, they don't talk about that stuff coming out of the eggs. So you just have to figure it out as you go on. I have no idea what that shit does, you know? I don't like how this intro makes This is like a trailer for a film where you're like, wow. I saw this trailer for a film called The Devil Inside. I'm like, wow, that film looks awesome. Then I saw that film. I'm like, wow, this film this is one of the worst films I've ever seen. It sucked. Not to say Billy Hatcher isn't one of the worst games I've ever played, that's not true. But, um, it's frustrating at times. Tune in next time for more Billy Hatcher, I guess.